just enjoyable to come home and and one feel like you're making a difference, but two, I guess just seeing how kids grow and develop and yeah, just being a part of their lives. I mean, we've had kids from uh, for a day, mm -hmm. a couple of weeks, a month, permanently. Each kid, you just think that moment you have with them, whatever you, you are changing their life, whether you're just providing safety for a moment or mm -hmm. um, whether you're just giving them a respite and life sort of thing. It's, um, I think they're the important things. There's, uh, there's lots of things that yeah, you put yourself through with it, but I think if we were to assess it, we, we never change the experience. So, yeah. It does cost you, it costs you your time and your energy and it costs you love and your compassion, but it's just, you can't place a value on the end result. It's so fulfilling. Across all the different ranges of care, so from you know respite to long term, we've had 16 children um, that have looked after over the almost six years. We've um, got two girls in our care that we've had since they were uh, just a week old, really. Both of them have gone permanently with us now. We've got four boys, and it's been really cool for me to have two girls in our house now, mm -hmm. and. Um, just the difference that girls are, but also just the yeah, coming home and having these little kids race up to you and want to yeah. see your days and those sort of things. You sort of forget when your kids get a bit older, those things. Yeah. So. yeah. Our youngest boy was five when we started and they've been able to see where your choices lead you. So we've been able to have really open discussions with them about life and also um, about empathy as well yeah. because I just we just couldn't swap the experience for we it's just no I was just thinking exactly the same thing so we wouldn't swap the experience for anything and yeah. I just think um, it's probably growing us as a family more so mm -hmm. than taking from us as a family um, just a lot of things Nicole said about empathy and things like that it's only softened our boys to other people and how mm -hmm. they see the world and different things like that the boys have um, been a big help. Uh, to us and they just treat them like they're part of the family and they wouldn't have it any other way either but they are just fantastic with them they they have so many laughs with them and they are absolutely adored and I think they'll be very protective of them as they grow older. It's been um, something that we've done as a family and so mm -hmm. the boys get a say in, in how they feel about things, yeah. who's coming to care how it's going as a family they need to be on board and yeah. so they get a choice in those decisions. It's, it's a really a team thing, it's not just us doing the foster caring, it's the people at AC Care that are, that are providing support for us, it's the um, DCP who you know, are right on the coalface of um, dealing with families and, and, and things like that. It's, it's um everyone trying to make the best everyone trying to make of the child. Yeah. You just might find out that it's it, it is your fit and and, and and the rewarding and all those things um with it. So if I was to say if you've got an inkling that might be something you want to do, that's how it was with us. We had to work through a lot of things. I, I think for any person if they're considering it do the journey um, yeah. and uh, if they at any stage you feel like it's just not for you that's that's what the part of the process is for sort of thing but you might also find that you just find something to life that you never knew could be a part of your life so. probably one thing um, that Ian and I hear a lot of is and probably hundreds of times is this saying people like you must be a really special person um, because I could never do foster care because I couldn't give the children back and you know probably we really just want to say that we're just ordinary everyday Aussies we're not um, we're not special because we're able to give kids back or anything it's actually we've had to look past ourselves and just go what's the big picture and try to put ourselves in place of the children and go well 
what are they thinking? Is there someone out? Are they thinking? Is there someone out there who'll love me? Or if you know they're too, a lot of them are too young to even have those big thoughts for themselves. But as adults, we probably we probably should be thinking about the welfare of our children in our community. And if we are able to do something, we do have a spare room and we do have a place in the heart where we can give a little bit more love. Maybe maybe it is for us. And I just. I hate to think that someone wouldn't consider it because they think they wouldn't be able to give a child back. Yes, that does happen, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen every time and it doesn't mean that you still won't make a difference. Um, you can make a massive difference in a child's life. It's still something that's so needed in the community. And it's just something that people can do.